tell us a little about yourself? My name is Ondiege Matthew. I am a dancer and choreographer and a performing artist in general. A choreographer is a person who directs and creates dances and works with people who are called dancers and uh, creates beautiful patterns and also beautiful meanings using body movement. How did you find yourself in this line of work? I started off as a, uh, an actor in small plays in school and then I went on to join college and drama school much, much later. And uh, then I took up uh, some dances, uh, training dances, professional courses. Did you need any qualifications, training or experience for your job? Yes, I needed training. That's why I took up to go into College of Theatre and Drama. And at the same time, I needed further training in dances so that I understand the discipline further. So I went to other parts of the world, West Africa, South Africa, uh, in Russia and in Europe. Uh, Germany especially and then uh, uh, the only thing I needed from the beginning was the interest really to, to, to pursue this kind of training and therefore the discipline and the commitment uh, those are the most important qualifications that I think I, I needed. Please tell us what you do in a typical day. My typical day starts with uh, having a late breakfast <laughs> Uh, because I would, I would stretch a bit before that, uh, after about uh, four hours of the morning, I would get into the studio and start work with my uh, colleagues. Uh, basically do the training and do some creativity work, uh, cre creative work, do some creation, uh, normally uh, start the beginnings of a creation, all the time exploring something new uh, until about 5 p.m. And then I would spend time in my office to do a few uh, administrative staff and, and networking business and then I'll go home for my family. What is the best aspect of your job? The best aspect is the element of training, uh, sharing my skills with people, especially young people and in this case young people with disability. Uh, this is very exciting and uh, I think it's also uh, beneficial to me and to my society and that is something important for me because I have uh, a way of contributing to my community and, and the environment that is around me. What are the main challenges of your job? The first challenge is uh, to have the structure put in place so that this work can be done at the most uh, best professional level. Uh, to have the finances behind it to support the work, to have the skills, you know, to have the facilities necessary. Uh, this, these are the main challenges that we face, but we are able to overcome them. That's why we, we are in the field, in the industry. Looking into the future, do you have an overall career goal? <laughs> so my future, actually, I'll still be a performing artist. And um, I hope to bring in other young people uh, to follow my footsteps, not necessarily mine, but, but footsteps of being a professional performing artist. And I hope to motivate them also to, to know how to break these boundaries of uh, marginalization and, and uh, uh, lack of exposure and, and uh, confidence. What advice would you give anyone interested in your line of work? Yes, my advice to young people who are interested in my line of work is uh, that talent is not enough. You may have the talent, you want to identify the talent first, uh, but it's not enough. Uh, the talent is the, the beauty of the body and the ability to do something interesting. Uh, but you need to be a bit organized. Uh, you, you want to, uh, don't neglect reading. Just read as much as possible so that you'll be uh, aware of what is happening. Uh, opportunities to, to gain skills should not pass you. Uh, opportunities to get exposure should not uh, pass you. And uh, have some sense of respect for yourself, for the work that you want to do and for others.